Hey guys, uh, I listen to the Brewing Network, usually Brew Strong or the Jamil Show. I'm commuting to work every day. And uh, I heard something that made me think I was having a talk with somebody on YouTube. I think it was Dorf. Um, about racking to secondary or not racking to secondary. Um, I believe he said he didn't, or he racks to secondary. You know, he ferments for his week or two weeks, whatever he does, for whatever beer it is, and racks into his secondary and then lets it set in secondary for however long to drop the yeast out and clear because he doesn't like having those. All the stuff in his bottles, the sediment and whatnot in the bottom of his bottles. Um, what I had always heard, you know, I've only been brewing for a couple of months now, so I've, you know, picked up pretty much anything from the internet forums and podcasts and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people recommend just doing the primary fermentation and skipping the secondary fermentation. Uh, you let it set in primary for two weeks or more, let it set on that yeast cake, and the yeast will clean up any of the diacetyl or off flavors that it produces. It tends to clean up a lot of that stuff. Um, and then when it comes to clearing your beer, um, I know a lot of you use a racking bucket, most every, or a bottling bucket, most everybody does. Um, what I do is, when I'm done with my two weeks, I rack it into my bottling bucket and then do like a mini cold crash. I put my bottling bucket, you know, down in the basement on the cold basement floor or, you know, if it's not too cold outside, put it out in the garage where it's 40 something degrees and uh, that drops most of that yeast down to the bottom of the bucket. And I, the last, you know, I've only done four beers, but I've done that in the last two. And uh, the one that I've cracked open so far is crystal clear. I may be wrong, but because I've only done it a couple of times and I've only opened one of the beers, so. But it seems to do pretty good so far. It was crystal clear and there was barely any sediment coating the bottom of it. Great carbonation and none of the sediment came out when I poured the beer. So I just wanted to, you know, I had it, I heard it on the podcast, whipped out my camcorder, thought I'd say something about it. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.